Welcome to the PLA 3.0 tutorial series, Working with Documents. In this video we will discuss how to create documents and the basic concepts behind documents in PLA. For the purpose of this video, we have created a new database and will work with it using administrative permissions. We recommend to always use dedicated databases for testing purposes and keep them separate from production environments. The easiest way to create such a database is to use Express Mode in the Database Connection Management Wizard. If you have no experience creating PLA databases, watch our tutorial on the topic. Documents in PLA are stored in a database and displayed in a folder structure. When you work with biological assays, for example, documents contain all assay-related settings, the raw data, and the calculation results. You can also use template documents to define essay-related settings. The navigator displays the folder structure, documents and templates in two views. The upper view shows the folder structure, the lower view shows the folder content. Please consult the navigator video of this series for additional information. Both regular documents and template documents are structured to suit specific applications represented by what we call document types. These are grouped thematically into document packages. For example the biological assay package, which contains several document types related to bioassays. Use the new document dialog to create new documents. Select one of the available document types to create a document from scratch. As an alternative, you can also select a template that provides the basic document configuration. The tabs of the dialog allow you to display all available document types and templates, or only those that have recently been used. The lists are sorted by document package and document type. The range of items available depends on the properties of the target folder, which may restrict the folder to hold only particular document types. To ease navigation of the list, you can enter a search term or you can mark favorites and apply the show only favorites filter. We will start by creating a new document and then explore the other options. For this we need a new folder, to store the documents we create. To open the new document dialog click the create a new document button in the toolbar. You can also achieve this by selecting the option from the file menu or from a context menu in the navigator. PLA creates the documents in the folder selected in the navigator. Here, document types and related templates are displayed in a folder structure arranged by document package. To create a new document from scratch without using a template, select the document type, which is marked by the No Template tag, and click Create. Note, you can even create a new template rather than a document. If you select the Create as Template option in this dialog, we just create a regular document now, and will then explore how to create a new template based on this document. Once the new document has been created, PLA displays it in the right pane. By default, PLA does not save the new document to the database yet. For the purpose of this video, we just enter a name, and save the document via the Toolbar button. You can also use this document as a template for the creation of further documents. All documents you create based on templates will inherit the initial values you defined in the original document. If you work with biological assays, for example, you may set up an essay document during development. Then you want to use this essay document for several essay runs. To do this, simply create a template from the essay document via the Save as Template option in the main toolbar. Or the file menu. When you select Save as Template, a dialog pops up where you select the location for the template. The folder we created is already selected. The new template opens and is available in the navigator. Close the template to be able to create a new document based on it. PLA provides two ways of creating documents from templates. Either select the template in the navigator, Use the Create New Document from Template option and specify the target folder. 
or select the template in the new document dialog instead of a document type. All available templates are displayed next to the document type they are based on. Select the new template to create a document from it. If we had configured anything in the template, the document would inherit it. With an SA configuration, a template can be used for several SA runs. Simply use the template to create the SA documents you need. The document we created based on the template is now available in the navigator. On the Available Document Types tab, you can mark items as favorites and use this for a filter. Click the Show Only Favorites button to hide all items that are not favorites. Click the button again to remove the filter. You can also enter a search term to filter document types and templates by name. Now only document types and templates with the entered name get displayed, which in our case is only the template document we have created during this video. To learn more about documents, you can experiment with creating assays. Take a look at the configuration and data of the demo assays, calculate them, and generate reports. The features you need to perform these tasks are available in the editors, which are displayed in the document pane on the right in PLA. Enjoy your first steps in PLA 3.0. If you want to know more about working with documents, please consult our videos on this topic and our help pages.